Hello guys, welcome to another episode of US Geography Made Simple. And yes, we are back in business. Today's video is going to be on US Regions, the Mid-Atlantic Part 1, which is mainly going to focus on the political and physical geography of this region. First, location. The Mid-Atlantic region is basically this area of land that's centered around the midpoint of the east coast of the United States. To the north, it's bordered by Canada, specifically the province of Ontario. To the east, it's bordered by the Atlantic Ocean and New England, which we've studied in our last two videos. And to the west, it's bordered by Ohio and Kentucky. Finally, to the south, it's bordered by North Carolina. The States and this is a very debatable and arguable topic of what state gets classified into what region, but for me, I would consider New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia to all be part of the Mid-Atlantic region. And some of the largest cities in this region include New York City, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, and Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, now on to physical geography. Much of the mid-Atlantic region is dominated by the Appalachian Mountains, a long mountain range that runs from Georgia to Newfoundland and its subranges. In Virginia and West Virginia, much of the area is covered by the Blue Ridge Mountains. From West Virginia to Pennsylvania, we have the Allegheny Mountains, and in New York, we have the Catskills and the Adirondacks. So, while those four, the Blue, the Allegheny, the Catskills, and the Adirondacks might be the main subranges, keep in mind that there are many, many more of them, and I think this map right here does a very good job of illustrating this. Alright, mountain peaks. The two tallest mountains in this region can be found in the southernmost part of Virginia, close to the border with North Carolina. These mountains are Mount Rogers and White Top Mountain. Then, the next tallest would be all the way in upstate New York in the Adirondacks, where you can find Mount Marcy at 5,344 feet tall. The Mid-Atlantic region is home to many rivers. Most importantly, the Susquehanna River, home to the infamous Three Mile Island accident, the Potomac River, which is very important as it passes through Washington, D.C., the Delaware River, which was crossed by George Washington and marks the border between New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and the Hudson River, which is a long river that originates in the Adirondacks and flows to New York City. Now on to lakes. Alright, so we have Lake Champlain, which we discussed about in a previous video. This lake is absolutely massive. It's 500 square miles in size, split between Vermont, New York, and Quebec. Additionally, it contains about 80 islands and is the site of many battles. Then we have the Finger Lakes, which I might discuss a bit more in an upcoming video. These are basically 11 long, large lakes carved out by glaciers about 550 million years ago. They're called the Finger Lakes because they appear to resemble fingers. And lastly, Allegheny Reservoir, Plymouth Tuning Reservoir, and Smith Mountain Lake are among other notable bodies of water in the Mid-Atlantic region. For peninsulas, we basically just have two main ones, the Delmarva and the Cape May. So for the Delmarva, it's split between Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, and for the Cape May, it's at the extreme southern tip of New Jersey, and it's famous for its lighthouses and boardwalks. Islands. Alright, so there's Long Island, which very much looks like a peninsula, but remember it's separated from the mainland by the East River on the eastern side of New York City. It's the largest island in the lower 48 states. It's very densely populated, especially towards the western side. There's Staten Island, a 60 square mile large island and one of the boroughs of New York City. Kent Island, the largest island in the Chesapeake Bay. And finally, numerous barrier islands such as Long Beach Island in New Jersey and Assateague and Chincoteague Island in Maryland and Virginia. Finally, to conclude this video, bays, sounds, and gulfs. We have the Chesapeake Bay, which is probably the most important body of water in the Mid-Atlantic region. This bay divides Maryland into two halves, the western half right here and the eastern half right here. The Delaware Bay separates New Jersey from Delaware, as you can see right here. And finally, the Long Island Sound separates Long Island from Connecticut.
That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new, and see you next time.